Elsewhere around the world, the wildfires in California that have killed dozens and have caused thousands to be evacuated could grow even bigger. The U.S. Fire Department is concerned that the blaze could continue for weeks. Hong Yu has the details. Campfire, the most destructive wildfire in California's history, shows no sign of abating with strong dry winds making the weather optimal for the Northern California fire to spread for at least another day. The wildfire, which started on November 8th, has killed more than 30 people, and with more than 200 others missing, the number of casualties is likely to increase. Most victims were found near Paradise, California. More than 300,000 people have been forced from their homes statewide. I think it's burned. I think it's burned, but because it's neighbors' houses, I see like it's already started to burn. As well as campfire, there are two other wildfires that have broken out in Southern California. The Hill Fire and the Woolsey Fire have destroyed 179 structures and are threatening 57,000 more. The only thing that we're not concerned about is where it hit the ocean. So other than that, we're extremely concerned. We've asked our citizens to evacuate. We have all available firefighters out there on all perimeters and all unburned areas of this fire trying to protect in the structures and put the fire out. The return of powerful winds is impeding firefighters from containing the fires, especially the Woolsey Fire in Southern California. These winds are known as the Devil's Wind for giving life to wildfires of a tremendous scale. Currently, about 3,000 firefighters are battling the blazes. The U.S. Fire Department said it will take more than three weeks to fully contain the three fires. Hong Yu, Arirang News.